Listen, listen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the King Ooh of Lightning was looking forward to the episode, episode 785 of One Piece. I brought out Tawasama. I was getting ready to clean up the mess that was going to take place after viewing the epicness that is Reiju. I am a huge fan of Reiju. Reiju, my personal opinion, top three females in one piece, easy. Robin's always number one, but Reiju and Viola, like five for number two and number three. That was my main focus for the episode today. It was Reiju. It was Luffy, all right? It was Reiju and them lips, like, yeah. I mean, she ain't Oki, but still, but still, them lips. <sighs> Yeah. However, this part of the episode was not as good as it should have been, in my personal opinion. The Brooke stuff was hilarious. Brooke is absolutely hilarious, bro. <laughs> Nami reacting to it, that was funny, but it was Brooke. Brooke killed it, man. Brooke was slaying. <laughs> Brook, his comedy sometimes can be a little bit annoying when he does the whole skull joke, skull joke, skull joke, skull joke. It becomes a little bit too annoying. But Brook was hilarious this episode. When he's looking at Reiju's lips, touch Luffy's lips, and he's like, smooch. Brook, I think, was the star of that part of the episode, but he shouldn't have been. Like, even though Brook did amazing, I brought out Tao-sama to clean the mess. But there was no mess, man. There was no mess. The animation was all right. The sounds kind of threw me off. It was like a deeper version of like a silly straw that is trying to get the last remaining drops of juice from like a juicy juice card. Like it was just weird. Like, and they, I understand that it's a whole sucking thing. Uh, a lot of sucking going on there. And oh, those lips are powerful, man. Powerful, deadly in many ways deadly. And that's one of the best parts about Reiju, right? Reiju, she's awesome, okay? Not just in that way, but as an overall character so far, I like her a lot, I do. And Luffy is saved and the poison's out of his body and she is poison pink, so we see her ability in action. The assumption is that it's Duffy related. Peckums did say beforehand that they are a science-based fighting unit as well. Like they are strong fighters, but they have trained in the ways of science, per se. So when you have Yonji, he's floating via his boots. That's pretty cool. Reiju's kick, when she kicked Yonji in the previous episode, was a fairly powerful kick. So they are powerful, and they do have unique abilities. We haven't seen what Yonji can do from a unique ability standpoint, if he actually has one. But Reiju, Poison Pink, does save Luffy. And the episode as a whole, it was okay plus the good. The pacing always, <laughs> it always needs room for improvement. But the animation was okay. Nothing too crazy the story progression was clearly there because luffy is saved and now they have arrived in totaland the 34 island archipelago that makes up big mom's territory when you have characterization there is some stuff there involving reiju brook as well because brook he has deep history brook knows stuff considering his age and he talks about that when it comes to the vince book family as well as yonji and how yonji and reiju they're gonna let this whole thing slide because they don't want to ruin sanji's wedding that kind of stuff so you do have characterization you do have story progression the animation is okay and the pacing it's one piece anime so there's always room to for improvement but it's the animation where i'm like come on one scene i hearken back to here is the scene with rebecca they got some dude i don't know who his or her name is but they got some person that does like this crazy pervy like glossed over stuff for rebecca when luffy's on her and she's heaving and it's like what that's what I wanted for Reiju, at the very least. Bring this person to do Reiju stuff. All in all, it was a good scene, but it should have been, like, amazing. It should have been, like, jaw-dropping. Holy Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my goodness. But it wasn't an oh, my goodness scene. It was a, eh, all right. Like, that's what it was. It wasn't worth Tawasama. Just in the corner. Keep him in the corner. Because I'm clean, and I didn't want to be clean. Okay? I did not want to be clean. So, am I perving out right now a bit? Yeah, I am. Excusez-moi. I do apologize. But the episode as a whole, okay plus. But the scene I really wanted to see the most, the scene that 
my attention was on. I you posted on Twitter. I'm like, yo, really excited to see Raju in action tomorrow. <laughs> really excited. Woo, woo. But no, there was no. It was more like a. Okay. Okay. I wanna. I got a okay instead. Let me know your thoughts on the matter at hand. A video that is a wee bit different. However, when we're talking about one of the top three females in One Piece, my attention is there. It's for various reasons. So Reju, still cool, still awesome. It's not changing my thoughts on her, but for that C in particular, Toei should have like gone to the side. <laughs> they should have gone in that house or whoever, Bones, bring him in, do that one scene in particular, have this be Toei. Like, <laughs> straight up. Because it's Toei. Hate to say it, but Toei, on average, are like subpar at best. And for that scene, we need, like, great. We need amazing jaw-dropping. Now Toshi, animation-wise, should have came in specifically for that. Even though that's not his forte, as far as I can understand, they should have bring in Toshi. I, I don't care. Just... And the sounds, too, could have been... Better. It could have been better. But overall, the scene was good. Just not as good as I wanted it to be, especially in the direction I was hoping it would be. All right? You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Give me thoughts on the matter at hand. I'm going to see you cats later. Of course, rate the video. Not that hard to do. Use the mouse. Zay mouse. Ooh. Click, click, click. Rate the video. Subscribe. Click on the notification bell as well. Join the notification squad. And also, check me out on Twitch. There'll be a link in the box below for that as well. And, of course, if you want to comment, I'm pretty sure many of us males are going to be commenting in the comment section down below, giving our thoughts on the matter at hand. I don't doubt it. But if the females want to comment as well on the matter at hand, by all means, you have free range. Once again, folks, I'm going to see you cats later. Have a nice goddamn day.